Hey guys, Turk here. Hope you're having a great day. Man, I'm so pumped. Today, Call of Duty Warzone Season 3 hits us, and here on the channel, we're all about PC performance, and with today's latest release, you're going to get access to DLSS. That's NVIDIA's latest technology to increase your frame rate with very little reduction in your graphics quality, but we're going to talk about all the different settings, all the different resolutions, and show you guys what you should expect as you drop into your next Call of Duty match. So stick around. So if you guys aren't familiar with what DLSS is, it is deep learning super sampling, and that is NVIDIA's latest upscaling technology where they create a lower resolution base image for your video game and upscale it to match your monitor's output resolution in order to optimize the frame rate that's rendered by your graphics card. Now with their latest graphics cards, their RTX 2000 and 3000 series GPUs, they utilize this new hardware called their Tensor Cores in order to accelerate that uh, AI deep learning super sampling algorithm in order to produce that high quality image and also giving you access to that super sweet frame rate that we love to see in these fast paced shooters. Now you might be asking yourself, Turk, what about DLSS? I thought it was a huge gimmick. No one's playing these things, right? Guys, there are a lot of games out there that support DLSS right now. And just this past week, Unreal Engine announced that they have created a plugin that uh, developers can use to implement DLSS with very little effort in order to increase and unlock that frame rate that the NVIDIA hardware has access to. But we can talk about DLSS another day in depth. If you let me know down in the comments and like give me a thumbs up on the video, we might d dig deeper into it, kind of like what we did with our ray tracing performance analysis. But we're getting carried away. Today is all about Call of Duty Warzone Season 3, and we're going to be testing with our RTX 3070 here, and we're going to be covering 1080p, 1440p, and 4K to show you guys what kind of frame rate improvements you'll be seeing across the different settings, as well as translating that into some of the other graphics cards that are going to be using this technology. So before we go and look at the gameplay as well as looking at those frame rate charts, let's talk about the test system. Now I chose my RTX 3070 today because it's going to be able to enable us to play at all three of the different resolutions at pretty decent frame rates, but it's also going to be a good analog so we can see how the DLS options scale as we increase resolutions as well as through those options. Now for the rest of the system, I've got my Ryzen 9 5900X test system with 32 gigs of DDR4 3200 CL16. If you guys want to know more about memory, I'll put a link up at the top. That way you can pick yourself out a nice kit so you can match my particular performance numbers. Now, if you're new to the channel, I appreciate y'all stopping by, but when I talk about my detail settings, Call of Duty doesn't really have a high setting, so I'm scrolling through the graphics menu, and if you're wanting to enable your RTX DLSS options, all you have to do is scroll down to the post-processing effects and find that little DLSS option there and click the little arrows to go through the different settings, hit the apply button, and if you cross your fingers and you don't get one of those dreaded uh, DirectX crashes, you're gonna have your settings on the fly just like that. Uh, I would recommend, you know, exiting to the main menu and then going back into another match. Uh, that way you don't, you know, leave your squad hanging. But that's how easy it is to enable this newest feature. And guys, let's look at the frame rate. You're gonna be shocked. So let's get 4K resolution out of the way because, you know, not a lot of you guys play at 4K. And to be honest, 4K is a really demanding resolution to begin with. But for our RTX 3070, it's actually not that bad with Warzone, but DLSS just makes it even better. Now, right at the get-go, we are able to hit 72 FPS uh, on our base RTX with no DLSS support, but that 1% low of 53 FPS, it is pretty low. We're going to see some jittering if we don't have adaptive refresh turned on. But guys, once you turn on and bump up to the uh, probably best looking DLS option, that's DLSS quality. We do get 101 FPS on our average frame rate, and that 1% low is at 78 FPS, guys. So that's gonna be buttery smooth gameplay at 4K resolution with an RTX 3070. It's, you know, it's not that uh, extensive of a graphics card, but it is good enough nowadays to get you screaming high frame rates, even at the most demanding resolutions. Now let's talk about the different quality settings really quick. So DLSS quality, it is the uh, you know best looking option in my per in my opinion, and what it's doing is taking probably close to a 1440p uh, render resolution and upscaling it up to 4K. Now let's go to the DLSS balance. This is going to be taking a resolution probably you know 
a little bit higher than 1080p, a little bit lower than 1440p, but it's going to be upscaling that resolution up to 4K. Now, DLSS performance is my preferred setting with Cyberpunk, and it's marginally okay here at 4K. Uh, we'll talk about it at other resolutions, but it's going to be taking a 1080p resolution, and it's going to upscale that all the way up to 4K. So, uh, 1080p is like one fourth the resolution of 4K, so the extrapolation is pretty straightforward. So it's a it's a pretty playable setting if you're going to be going here. But what's really important, guys, if you've got a 4K 120 hertz panel, it's probably like six to eight hundred dollars. Uh, you're going to be able to hit it and max it out, which is awesome. And if you've got adaptive refresh rate, dude, it's going to be buttery smooth all across the board. Now, if you're looking for screaming performance, you can always go up to ultra performance, but in my testing, that kind of looked like it was around 720p getting upscaled, which that's pretty bad. It, it's playable at 4K, but I really don't recommend that DLSS option. So let's talk about my favorite gaming resolution, and that is 1440p. Again, the RTX 3070, it's already well suited for most games for 1440p, but having access to DLSS, it just increases our frame rate to a point where it's going to be super buttery smooth. So let's take a look at what the scaling looks like. So at our baseline of high setting with no DLSS turned on, we are already capping our 120 hertz LG 27 inch IPS panel at 126 FPS and our 1% lows, they're still above 60, so all good there. But once we increase the DLSS level to the quality preset, we are getting an extra 36 FPS on top, which also guarantees us 1% lows above our monitor's maximum refresh rate. That's awesome, guys. I, I can't say it enough. DLSS is some, is some sweet tech. Now, if we go up further in the stack with DLSS balanced, we're getting right between like a 1080p and a 720p rendered resolution. So it's it's looking, it still looks pretty good at 1440p, but it's not as good as quality, but I think it's still a great option. And if you're going with like a 144 hertz panel, this is clearly a great setting to use to get, to get you there. Now, DLSS performance at this point, the FPS number, it looks really good, but guys, the output quality of performance mode, it just is starting to slip quite a bit. We're using lower and lower resolutions as our base rendering resolution. So if you're really going for the FPS here, it's still a pretty recommended option, but you are starting to see the quality impact as you go up the uh, quality, uh, go up the presets. And again, ultra performance, this might be something close to like 540p and it's almost borderline not even supported from Nvidia, but you're, you are getting 211 FPS. If you lower your quality settings down a, li a little bit more, you might even be able to hit that mythical 240 hertz, 1440p panel. I don't even know if those exist, but guys, DLSS is able to practically almost double our FPS from uh, the high setting all the way up to the DLSS Ultra preset. Now, most of you guys are going to be playing at 1080p, hopefully on like a 120 hertz, 144 hertz, or maybe even a 240, uh, 240 hertz panel. And with DLSS options engaged with our RTX 3070, we're able to hit those at pretty decent outputs. But the quality, we definitely start to see where DLSS has some weaknesses. But let's talk about the chart. So right out of the gate, 165 FPS for our baseline measurement with the RTX 3070. Again, echoing our 1440p result there. But guys, once we go into that quality preset, man, things are even better. We got a 204 and we are able to cap now our 144 FPS panels at the 1% lows. Again, super buttery smooth FPS there. Shouldn't have any concerns. Uh, now, this is where I would start to recommend using the quality preset instead of the balanced preset because we do start to see a little bit of the flickering going on with the lights and there's a bunch of jaggies that are popping up in some of the different textures. So play with that setting a little bit if you're concerned about image quality. You know, quality is a good one. Balanced is okay. But guys, 1080p with the performance setting, quality is definitely starting to suffer quite a bit. And we're not really getting that much extra frame rate from our RTX 3070. And we're not getting past that 240 hertz breakpoint. So with the performance preset, I think we're, we're sacrificing too much to get too little out of it, if you know what I'm saying. Now, ultra performance, again, looks like hot garbage, but we do get up to that mythical 244 hertz. And if you play with settings a little bit, you could probably get your 1% lows up quite a bit. But guys, with DLSS, we are able to increase from 165 FPS up to 242. That's right at, what, 80 FPS, about 76. That is impressive, guys. And all you got to do is click a single button inside of the menus. Well, it's like 
I guess it's one. If you press the left one, it'll like wrap you around in the menu option, but you, you get what I'm saying. So keep in mind, guys, this is all being collected through the single player campaign mission. The mission specifically is the Piccadilly map. Now, I chose that map because it's got a good mix of uh, AI running around, lots of explosion, lots of chaos, as well as also mixes of long distance, short distance, indoor and outdoor action going on. So it's actually really representative of the actual gameplay, but I went ahead and loaded up a Warzone map. I think, I forget which mode it is, but as I was running around trying to get some kills with my squad, I was getting right around 97. This was playing at 4K with the quality preset. So I am getting a few frames slower than when compared to my campaign measurements, but I still think it's representative and pretty accurate. So, you know, if you don't like my numbers, you can scale them down just by a few FPS, but I don't think it's much to be concerned with. So here's the big question, guys. What kind of performance should you expect if you're gaming on like a 2060 or a 3060, 3060 Ti? Well, unfortunately, I can't go out and buy those cards because they just don't exist over on the market these days, and I'm not gonna pay scalper prices to do that kind of testing but we can take the trends we've learned through this data and kind of get a good guess of what kind of performance you should expect. So at 1080p, if we're going from the DLSS off to the quality preset, we do gain about 24% on our frame rate, but if we decide to go up to the performance preset, we do get about 38% performance improvement, and now that's at 1080p. And I'm not exactly sure what kind of performance all these other uh, lower tier graphics cards get, but if you're getting right around 45 FPS at 1080p with high settings, if you're getting a 30% performance improvement with the performance preset, you're gonna be able to get yourself up to 61 FPS on the average frame rate, which guys is great. If you've got a really old card like the 2060 KO, I imagine you're getting above 60 FPS to begin with, but you're able to unlock that incre increased performance and maybe even uh, unlock better adaptive refresh capabilities of your monitor or even step up to a higher resolution if that's what you're looking for. And that's the magic of DLSS, guys. If you need the extra horsepower, if you're running on a really old graphics card and a new cyberpunk-like game comes out, you're able to use the DLSS option to sacrifice some of the quality in order to get that frame rate you need to keep your graphics card uh, in your hands longer, as well as playing on the newer and latest games as they come out. Now guys, that's Call of Duty Warzone Season 3 DLSS analysis completed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below if I missed anything or if you guys would like me to test my RTX 3080 or any other graphics cards I can get my hands on. I'm always talkative over on my Discord. You can click the link down in the description. Hit the subscribe button. We've got a poll over at our community tab of what our next video is going to be. I'm looking at uh, updating my PC buyer's guide for 2021, including all of the market madness, as well as looking at a buy core comparison of the newest Intel parts against the latest AMD processors. So guys, appreciate y'all sticking to the end of the watch of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoy the clean shaven face. My wife was started yelling at me and I was like, you know what? Let's just, let's just shave it all off. It's summertime anyway. So I hope you guys have a great day. We'll catch you in the next one. See you later, Turf Force.